All right, now that almost everyone is here, we can now start the meeting. Duh, is this meeting about what Buzzington did? No, this is not, uh, this meeting is not about what Buzzington did. Although, um, seeing that we brought, seeing that you brought that up, we might as well talk about it now. Um, seeing that, uh, seeing that, uh, what happened where, um, while we were traveling on that ship and all of the criminals somehow escaped, <coughs> Buzzington, I would now like my scientist to end up inventing a button that cannot be used by bees, or eyes, or squids, or anyone who might accidentally, or deliberately press the press a button they'll end up uh, either releasing releasing um, nuclear toxins on a public area end up turning people into zombies or end up just uh, releasing criminals onto the spaceship which is one of the reasons why I have uh, some of my top scientists here to discuss this matter at this time so um, whenever you guys end up having some free time make sure to work on um, some buttons that end up only working for humans so to speak so eyes so floating eyes, bees, and squids can't end up using them. Okay. Secondly, I'd like to end up talking about our security, which is one of the reasons why I also have my top guards here. Now, um, seeing that at one point um, a, a serial killer ended up breaking onto one of our top ships and ended up killing most of our guards, and not to mention seeing that um, most of the criminals we ended up keeping in lockdown, which somehow got out. <coughs> Buzzington again. I'd like to end up, end up um, hiring some new security s staff. Seeing that um, for some reason you stormtroopers aren't actually quite good at um, well, doing your job. You're not good at killing and you're not good at guarding things apparently. Because the only reason we ended up surviving um, the serial killer coming on board was because I ended up um, knocking the weapon out of his hands and managed to punch him in the face. And um, as for the criminals being, being released. The only reason we survived that is because um, I managed to, me Buzzington and um, the s and and uh, the eye and Derpy Squid all managed to end up um, uh, tricking all those criminals to end up being released out the air hatch, which in hindsight, now that I think about it, did save us from them. But at the same time, I'm a tiny bit worried about that now, seeing that um, two of them were uh, two of them were undead, two of them were basically robots. One of them has a machine that can end up basically respawning him somewhere else. I think the only person, the only creature that ended up dying through that whole thing was probably the Creeper. And they're the Suicide Bomber, so that's not really much of a big deal. So I feel like that's going to eventually come back to bite us in the ass. But anyway, that's why I'm hiring new, new staff members. New people I know are good at protecting and fighting for me. Which is why I present you some two old friends of mine. Stabby and Pyra. Oh, well, uh, Stabby and, um, Pyra have really let themselves go. That, 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 that's not goddamn Pyra or Stabby. That's, that's just some random guy dressed as, um, the, the Fantastic Four, the Torch, and Frosty Snowcakes. Who? Don't you remember Frosty Snowcakes? He ends up selling, um, delicious cakes and lots of other different types of goods. He was at um, my home warming party, don't you remember? He ended up setting up all the food and everything. Oh yeah! I remember him now! Fr Fr Frosty, what on earth are you even doing here? I ended up hearing about delivery uh, needed to be delivered here, about uh, loads of different types of cakes needed to be ordered. We, we didn't order loads of different cakes. Well, you didn't, but I did. But why the hell did you order loads of different cakes? Well, seeing this is a business meeting and we're planning loads of stuff, I thought that, um, while we're planning all of this, I might as well end up planning my birthday party. Your birthday party isn't for a couple of months. Well, yeah, I know, but uh, still, it's always best to plan ahead. So, why are they here? Well, I wanted to end up, um, having, uh, Frosty over to end up, uh, showing me all the, all the different types of cakes he can end up, uh, giving to me on my birthday. Uh, I want to end up choosing the best cake I can eat for my birthday party. And the human torch is here because I thought it would be cool to have the human torch at my birthday party. 
Duh, yeah, uh, about that. Um, you said we were going to get paid. When are we actually going to get paid? You're paying them? I don't need by the hour. It's fine. It's fine. We have loads of money. Anyway, I mainly end up, um, bringing you two here because I'm, because I'm wanting to see how good you are. Now, first off, Human Torch, can you actually light yourself on fire? Uh, no, I'm just the actor who ended up playing the Human Torch. Uh, I can end up signing autographs for you, for you if you want. Nope, you suck. Okay, get, get lost. Just, just get, get lost. Get out of my sight. Uh, uh, okay. Am I gonna get paid at least? Get lost before I get the taser out! Uh, uh, okay. You, Frosty, get the hell in here! I need you to end up serving me loads of different types of cakes! I want to see what the best flavors are! Okay. Uh, hey! I just realized. If that wasn't Stabby or Pyra, then where on earth are they? Hmm. You have a point. They should be here by now. Oh, hey! There they are! Welcome in, you two. We were just uh, about to finish off the meeting. Okay, now that everyone's actually here, we can end up um, continuing on with the meeting. And now we're going to end up discussing the third and final reason we're all here. Now, as you all should know, um, as we speak, Earth is now being infested by zombies because someone, <coughs> Buzzington, ended up accidentally ended up uh, sending out some nuclear toxins when pressing a button, <coughs> Buzzington, uh, ended up infecting the populace and ended up turning them into zombies. Now, I've lived on Earth for a very long time before I ended up buying this uh, Death Star, and I would like to end up trying to find a way to cure all the people down, down on Earth. But um, here's the thing. It isn't exactly that cheap to end up, um, end up paying many, many scientists, yeah, I'm looking at you three, to, um, end up working tirelessly to end up, be, end up making a cure for, um, for, uh, zombieism, I'm gonna call it. Especially when a certain blue bee keeps on wasting money on cakes and, um, actors from Marvel movies. <coughs> Buzzington. You know... Eventually, you're gonna get sick and tired of just saying my name over and over. You're gonna stop saying that eventually. I know you are. Yeah, don't count on it. Which is why I've um found a way to end up um making it so we never run out of money. Because the last thing we want is to end up running out of money, um, meaning that uh, we can't end up paying anyone in this room. Um, any of the uh, guards, who apparently can't do their jobs at all, any of the scientists, who do their jobs quite well, seeing that um, they actually ended up making this, um, ended up making um, the very thing I'm about to talk about that has actually helped, actually ended up saving us from our money problem, and uh, pay, and now paying um, uh, Stabby and uh, Pyra, who are now on my payroll and who will be in charge of security, because as I remember from the past, they can actually fight, can, unlike the rest of you stupid ass, goddamn, um, uh, you stupid soldiers, you're just stupid. I, I know I'm being hurtful, but seriously, have, when, when have you guys ever killed anyone? Seriously, when when have you? Anyway, which is why I've ended up making my science, I've ended up telling my science scientists to end up making this. This thing you see on the table, which has actually been here for quite a long time, yeah, I was actually about to say something about that. What on earth is that? It's a money printer. It ends up printing out money. Meaning that we can end up getting as much money as we want. Um, isn't that illegal? Yeah, but, um, n no offense, Buzzington, but, um, I don't think anyone's going to really care if I'm actually printing out money and it's illegal, seeing that I have a goddamn Death Star. Who's going to say no to me? Uh, oh. Didn't you end up getting rid of all the weapons on this Death Star? Because you wanted it to be more like a home instead of just, well, a Death Star? Well, yes. But, um, two things. One, seeing that we end up having unlimited money, I can end up just paying the scientists um, in this room and all the scientists on this ship to end up just um, putting all those weapons back or even inventing new and better weapons. And uh, two, uh, no one else besides us aka anyone who's on this Death Star right now knows that the, this Death Star doesn't have any weapons, so as far as they know, we could end up just blowing up any planet we want right now. Hmm, fair point. So yeah, 
the only thing we need to make sure of now is to make sure that no one ends up stealing this um, money printer. Because we ended up putting um, most of our money into this now. And if we ended up losing this money printer, then um, we would just be just cash broke. We'd just be completely broke. Arr, did someone say something about a money printer? Are you kidding me? Space pirates? Are you kidding me? Aha, matey, we'll be taking that all for ourselves! Wow! We should have been preparing these guys years ago! Gmod lovers across the university, I'll be here along with no one else because this is Gmod the series. Uh, in the last episode, I can't actually remember what I played. I think I ended up playing. Was it The Slasher? I think it was a game called The Slasher, I think I played. Although I might be wrong. Oh my god, that guy looks creepy. Ghost. I'm guessing that's his name. In this video, I'm playing a game which is called. Um, I'm just gonna avoid you. I'm playing a game which is called. Uh, Okay, this looks like a good place to hide. Okay, um... In this game... In this video, I'm playing a game which is called, um... Hold on. I need to get two, I think. What? Do not build props around spawn. Okay, I can't actually stay here, never mind. Um... In this video, I'm playing a game which is called... Safe Zone. Okay, I'm in the safe zone. Sorry, I'm just reading some of this stuff at the moment. Sorry about that. Um, in this video, I'm playing a game which is called uh, Base Wars. They're all probably wondering what Base Wars is. It's basically where you need to end up building a base, and you need to end up um, end up building a base and protect yourself. And oh wait, hold on. Let me check out these. Let me check out this place even. Um, it's. I'm trying to find a really good place to hide. You need to end up building a base, and you need to end up protecting yourself and all the stuff you have in your base. And you also need to end up... Hold on. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think I'll go to this one, because I think this one has more space. I know I already left it, but... I'm going to go to this one. Okay. It's where you need to end up building a base, you need to be protecting everything in your base, and you also need to end up, um end up um, taking stuff from the other base. So it's ba the reason why it's called uh, Base Wars is because there are people with different bases and um, you even need to end up building up your own base or take stuff from the other base. So everyone who has a base is at war with one another, long story short. But um, now that I've explained that, let me quickly just do something. Hold on, do I have the... Yes, I do. And now, let me end up placing this here to cover up the door. Let me also place down some more so um, it covers up the windows. Okay, I'll explain why I'm doing this in a second. It's mainly to protect myself that way. Um, wait, can people. Okay, uh, that way people can't actually come in here. Because if people come in here, they will come in with guns and try and kill me and take anything I have. Luckily, I haven't actually bought anything yet or spawned anything yet. That... I think I just heard a piano play. I think I need a bigger one. Hold on. Uh, where's the remover tool? Remover. Remover. Okay, I need something a bit bigger. Nope. What about you? That's bigger, but it's a bit too big. That good? Seems good enough to me. Okay, now that I've done that, I'm now officially protected. Um, although I'm actually stuck in here now. What the hell is up with these noises? I really should have turned off noises. Anyway, um, now, 
Oh, for Pete's sake, I need to put more down, don't I? Okay, I need to end up uh, barring up this whole place, meaning that people can't actually come in here first before I actually end up doing anything. Okay, so the first... Hold on, uh, the first thing I need to do is... I'm barring it up anyway. Someone could maybe break through that um, wood there. Okay, so I need to end up covering up this. So yeah, you need to end up building a base, and you need to end up... Hold on, this is not very well. Okay, good. Good, good, good. It's all covered up now. So I have all this space here, and I have this bit here. Perfect. I'm probably going to have this as my main area. Okay. Pardon me. So basically, um, ba basically, in order to play this game, you need to first end up building up your base, and then um, either keep on getting money in order to build up your base and just do it by yourself, or if you want to, go to someone else's base and end up taking their stuff so you can get more leveled up. But, uh, yeah. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is put down a generator. Hold on. I need to put to... Wait, whoops. I need to go to base thing, and I need to go to... Where is it? Farm? No. Where are you? Generators. Here we are. And I need this much. I need a 50-50. Yeah, I need that much. Okay. So I've got that much. Wait, no. I've got a generator now, I meant to say. And I think I have enough to buy another one, don't I? Okay, I believe, I'm pretty sure... Oh, no, wait, you can buy extras. How many can you buy? Okay. Interesting. But whatever, anyway. You end up buying generators to end up powering stuff. Now, the next thing I need is a uh, printer. Because, um, with a printer, I can end up actually printing out... I can end up actually printing money. And that'll end up meaning that I can end up buying more stuff. At the side, as you can see right there, it ends up showing that I have a bit of money. Yeah, it ended up giving me this money when I first spawned into the game. And, um, it also has a timer right there. Oh yeah, at the top you actually see that there. That actually ends up showing you the time in real life. So, as I'm recording this, it's actually 2.20. Uh, fun fact. And, um, there's the time, there's the time right there in this game. In game logic. As you can see, I'm now level 2. That's because, um, every time you end up buying something in the game, you actually end up... Oh, I have enough to, um... Yes, I would like to buy this. Okay, I actually have enough for a, um, what's this called? It's called a, uh, solar panel. Yeah, this is another type of generator. What the hell was that noise? Okay, and as you can see, they're all actually powered up. So let me put this on the wall so it doesn't end up. Okay, and let me put this in different locations. Yeah. With these generators, it needs to end up powering up the printers. You haven't actually seen the printers yet, so I'm going to end up showing you the printers in a second. Um, the printers are basically where you can end up printing out money, and um, the more money you end up getting, the more you can end up, um, or buy stuff and become more powerful, so speaking. Why the hell is it all the way over here? What's making that noise? Is it the machine? Or is it someone on the other side of this wall? Well, no. Anyway, um, I don't think anyone's going to be coming into my house anytime soon, so I think I'm safe. And... I feel like I have this whole thing. You know what? I don't think anyone's going to be breaking in anytime soon, so I think I'm fine. I'm going to put it down there. Whoops. On steady. Oh, yeah! Um, at the top, it also ends up showing you um, what buttons you're going to end up pressing. If I press um, F3, it ends up showing me this. I believe this is where I can end up reading the rules and stuff to this game. And then nothing actually comes up. And Q is obviously where I need to end up opening up this and then buying stuff. Okay, so I've bought generators to end up powering my printers in order to print out money. Um, now I just need to... I don't know why they was floating. Oh yeah, people are dying right now. Oh yeah, if I press tab, it actually ends up showing you um, who's been... Hold on. Who, uh, who has ended up killing how many times? Um, this person here has ended up killing um, six people and ended up dying seven times. This person has ended up killing one person and died three times. And as you can see, seeing I first joined the server, um, I have zero kills and zero deaths, which is which is what I like, and I'd like to keep it that way, maybe. Okay, so now, uh, let me just end up getting a printer. Okay, there's different types of printers. I think I'll get this. The fact that that's so near to me freaks me out. I'm gonna end up uh, getting this. Okay. Too bad it doesn't actually show me um, how much money am I getting. Okay, so yeah, here's a wooden... Um, there's different types of printers. As you can see, um, with this printer, I need to end up collecting money. And as you can see, it's actually working quite well at the moment because I'm actually getting a lot of money. And as you can see, there's a power thing there. All of these um, all of these generators are actually powering this printer and giving me lots and lots of money. 
And every time I end up buying something, it also ends up giving me... Oh, hold on. What's this? Oh, this is the next one. Yeah, I need to end up powering it up. Hold on. There we go. Okay. Okay, so now that these are being powered up, I'm slowly getting money one bit at a time. Too bad it doesn't actually show me. And well, then again, I'm going to get uh, each type of printer. So now I can get this. What the hell? I'll be honest, some of these printers I haven't even seen before, so dear god. Oh yeah, which brings me to my next thing. Um, anything I actually show you in this recording, I must warn you, might actually not be that helpful to you when you actually end up playing the game. But the fact is, I've ended up learning this. Every server you end up going on um, for uh, Base Wars, there's a different... Basically, um, some of the stuff in one server of Base Wars might not be the same to the other in... To another server that has the... has um, as the game known as Base Wars. Like, um, there might be different types of printers, there might be this, there might be that, there might be update this, there might be update that. Long story short, everything I show you in, in this episode, um, everything I show you in this video involving around Base Wars will not end up helping you um, on every single server involving around uh, Base Wars. It will only help you on one certain server, which is... Um, I don't remember the name of this server, but I did take a picture of it before coming in, so I'm just going to pop a... Um, uh, the picture right up, and you can end up seeing, um, you can end up seeing the name of it. There you go. Okay, and now it's gone away. There we go. Okay, and now I'm going to end up continuing on. Uh, I'm just going to keep on buying uh, printers. Okay. Ah, and here we have the more updated one. This is where. What? I think someone's trying to break into my house. Hopefully they can't. Go away! We, we have nothing here! Hopefully they will leave. Okay, so yeah, I'm basically stuck in here. Um, I will actually show you... What? Oh, it's just showing... Okay, every time it does that dinging noise, I think it's just showing me that um, something's connected to the server. Okay, no one's... yeah. But anyway, some guy's probably trying to break in here in order to rob me and take my stuff. Luckily, I don't have that much. Anyway, like I was going to say... Yeah, nice try, dude. You... You're lost. Jesus, he's actually scaring me now. I'm kind of a tiny bit worried. As far as... I haven't actually played this game too much, but I don't actually know if or if not he can actually break in. And I'm only level 2. Oh yeah! I'm pretty sure if you're in the pressing tab, it also ends up showing people's... No way, it doesn't show people's levels. That was on a different server. Okay, I don't think the guy can... Did he die? I just saw a death message on the side and everyone stopped moving. Okay, anyway. Um, like I was going to say... Oh. Um, these printers here, you can end up gathering up a bit of money. Um, but this printer right here actually ends up showing you how much money you actually, you've actually got gotten. So he ends up actually showing you. So this is the one you mainly want. I just mainly wanted to show you these printers because... Well, because these are all different types of printers. What? What's happening? What? Oh, I think someone... Oh, no, wait. Someone left the game. Yeah, I... I think it lagged there for a second. When I end up hearing the... Ding -ding -ding, I was wondering what the hell was going on. No, someone just left the game. So, yeah, you can end up actually um, getting loads of different types of money just from uh, gathering it up. And the more you end up getting money, the more you can end up buying different things. Although, I'm going to end up quickly selling this. Hold on. Um, I believe if you end up doing the slash... What was that noise? Oh, someone joined the server. I'm thinking of... Someone has... Someone joined the server again. Um, anyway, if you do slash sell and then... Um, then point at the... Point at the certain thing, you can actually end up selling the thing. These printers aren't actually that useful to me, seeing that I can't actually end up seeing how much money they have on them at the time. So I might as well end up selling them. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I might end up doing a two-parter of this, because there is a lot to show here. Uh, I might end up just speeding up the... The... the um... The video for the fact is that um, there's a lot to show you. Okay. But anyway, yeah, with slash sale, if you end up actually uh, buying something you didn't actually want, you can end up just selling it. So that's perfect. Actually, if I if I feel calmer closing the door, it just makes me feel uncalmer because I don't know if these are actually unlocked or not. Okay, I'm gonna keep that door the way it is for now. Although I do it at the moment, you're probably thinking, DW, right now you basically trap yourself in. There's no way out. Actually, I do know a way of actually fixing that little problem, but I'd rather not do it at the moment, because I'm still not sure if that guy's out there. 
So I think I'll do it way later on because at the moment I'm not 100% sure if that guy's in, in, in like, out there or not. But anyway, I have one printer at the moment, so I'm going to quickly end up um, just putting that down. And right now it's just spawning loads of money for me. And I'll just continue on making more. What the hell? Oh yeah, and um, obviously in order to end up... Um, hold on. There we go. And obviously to end up... For the, for the record, obviously if um, if I want to end up actually using these um, these printers, I obviously need generators. The one thing you always need in this game is generators. Because if you don't have generators, then, they, then long story short, um, it won't be able to power up the um, printers and you won't get money, meaning you won't end up um, getting stuff to buy other stuff. Hold on. Sorry for that um, silence. I just had to have a sip of apple juice. And um, and the more you end up getting money, the more you end up bu getting to buy stuff. Speaking of which, do I have enough to end up buying? Do I have enough to buy? I forget where it is. Oh, I do have enough. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna put my. I'm gonna put it right here. Yes. Perfect. Okay. No power. I shouldn't have put it all the way in the corner. There we go. Activate. Okay, if you're wondering what this thing is, this is basically a um, spawn point. I've ended up buying a spawn point, that way if I end up actually dying, it will spawn me right back here. And as long as this generator stays here, it should end up powering up all my stuff. Okay. Also, I don't think... Hold on. Uh, let me quickly end up buying some more printers. Um, in order to... hold on. In order to get... No, I can't get that printer because it's VIP. In order to get the next printer, I need to be level 3. And in order to basically do stuff, I need to constantly keep on buying. But in order to level up, I constantly need to keep on um, buying stuff in order to um, level up to... Basically, I, I constantly need to... Let, I can't... I end up needing to... Um, one day I'll end up speaking normally, one day, anyway. Um, in order to level up, in order to level up, I need to end up buying, I need to end up buying stuff. So every time I end up buying a certain thing, it ends up leveling me up. Did anyone else see that lag? Oh, God. Anyway, seeing I've got a lot of money, I, oh, actually I don't have a lot of money, but I have money either way. So let me quickly end up seeing... Oh yeah, you can end up buying a lot of things in these games. You can also end up buying things to defend you, but seeing that, um... At the moment, I'm boxed in and no one can come for me. I'm fine for the moment, so this, is, so I'm good. Anyway, um, yeah. Do, 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 do. I need to end up buying. What do I need to buy? Ah, generator. Okay. In order to get the next generator, I need to be level five, though. So remember that. Okay. Okay. I got another generator. I'm gonna put it on the wall. The main reason I'm putting these generator, these um, panels on the wall, aka generators, is because I don't want them uh, actually being on the floor and just um, uh, making up more room. Anyway, yeah, this um, this generator is powering that, so that's perfect. And I'm also having these generators here. I don't think I need these many, but uh, whatever. Okay, now, what level am I? I'm still level 2, so I'm going to continue on... Um, I'm going to continue on... What the hell? Hold on, hold on, viewers. I'm going to need to edit this out. Um, hold on, let me quickly go into settings and then turn off the sounds, because it sounded like... Um, so, sorry about that, it sounded like music started to play. I heard piano noises. Anyway, uh, I'm going to turn that off so you guys don't have to deal with that. Um, and I don't have to deal with that either. So I just need to constantly keep on... Um, oh, I, I have enough for... Um, I have enough for... Uh, to, buy a, to buy the next stage of printer. Okay. So every time you end up buying a... Um, okay, so this is a basic, basic printer. And this is a copper printer. Meaning that this printer should end up actually... Um, end up giving me more money. For instance, as you can see, um, every time this printer ends up making money, it ends up making 10% um, money. Why do I keep on closing that door? The more I close that door, the more it makes me freak out. Anyway, um, but this printer, as you can see right here, only ends up making me... How much does it make me? Oh, it only ends up making me eight money. Anyway, uh, let me just quickly end up... Uh, also, um, as you can see right here, it also ends up um, saying... Um, how much money this um, the, this printer can hold? It can only hold um, 1,000, whereas this printer can end up holding um, 1,500. So 
So yeah, if, I, if I'm saying the number wrong, I do apologize. But that is the case. Okay, so let me put this up here now. Okay. And let me end up constantly getting money again. Right. Oh, I just realized I'm now level four. Oh, not long until I need... Uh, not long until I end up getting another... Um, what's it called? A another... Hold on. So basically with this, I can just constantly end up getting money. As you can see, I just constantly keep on clicking. And the more I end up getting money, the more I can end up... Um, I can end up um, getting... Let. Sorry. Um, the more I end up getting money, the more I can end up buying stuff and become more powerful and make and build up my base. Now, um, now there's two things I've already... Pardon me. There's two things I've told you that I can do. I can either, one, build up my base, or two, end up uh, going to someone else's base and raid that. Now, you're probably wondering, how on earth can you end up raiding someone else's base? The answer is simple, by end up buying weapons. Now, um, I can actually end up buying loads of different types of, well, some of them are... Some of them are too expensive, and some of them are. Um, I need to be certain levels in order to buy them. But um, with these, with these guns, I can end up actually going into other people's bases and just shoot them up and end up just um, taking their stuff. Although high chances, I'm going to have to end up having quite a fight in order to take some of their stuff. Seeing that, um, just like me, prob probably, probably um, some of them end up putting spawners at their base, meaning that they'll just constantly keep spawning whenever they die. So, yeah. Anyway, um, one last thing before I keep on talking. One last thing before I keep on talking. One last thing before I end up doing anything else. Um, I've already told you that, um, as you can see right here, basically, um, basically, I basically trapped myself into this house. No one can get in, but no one can get out. Now, there's a problem if I eventually want to end up getting out of this place and end up actually going to attack some, um, what should we call it? Wanting to end up attacking some, uh, what should we call it? I'm trying to think here. Sorry, sorry. I'm trying to think. Um, but this is a problem if I'm stuck in here and I eventually want to end up attacking someone else's base. Well, actually, if I end up going to um, this, uh, I've been, I'm going to end up clicking a thing that's called Fade Door. And hold on, the number is four. Okay. And if I end up actually um, doing this, and now I'm going to end up going to normal inventory. Okay, so now if I end up pressing four, it actually ends up making the door faded. Meaning that I can end up... Um, Hold on. As you can see, I cannot go through it. And now, hold on. Then E. Whoops, I'm stuck. It's not the perfect system in the world, let's be honest. Okay, um, I need to click at least three things. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Hold on. Actually, in hindsight, may maybe I should end up changing um, the button four to something else. Hold on. Let me see what I can end up changing it to. Is R anything? No, I don't think it is. Okay, so now end up uh, doing this. I'm gonna go to where is my tool? Okay, and now if I press R. Why does it constantly end up? How come when I'm stuck on a certain thing it ends up shooting when I press R? That's weird. Anyway, uh, let me do this now, and then. Yep, when I press R. Okay, so now if I end up actually going up to the door, I end up pressing R, end up pressing... And I can actually end up leaving now. Oh, hold on. I need to close the door. Slightly to the side, hold on. It's hard when you have to press so many buttons, I'll tell you. Anyway, um, now if I end up... Yeah. So basically, now I can actually end up escaping just by pressing R, but no one else can get in because that thing's in the way. And, this, and as far as I know, I believe, what is this actually called? This is called a, I think it's called a metal door? A, a blast door. It's called a bloody blast door. Dear God, I knew this thing was tough, but I didn't know how tough. This thing is called a blast door, and it's basically a very tough thing to break in, um, I nearly said Minecraft for some reason, I don't know why. It's a very tough thing to break in um, Gmod. So basically, so basically at the moment I'm very secure and the best part is I can end up leaving whenever I want.